Look straight ahead and lift your chin slightly. Maggie's one of more than 11,000 people to take part in the latest size UK survey. Back in the 1950s, all the measurements had to be taken by hand. Today, each person's measured in a 3D body scanning machine. There's 12 sensory units in it, okay, and they're on three levels. There's a bottom one, a middle one, and a top one. And each one will flash independently, sending um, uh, light through a grid. Now, if they were to hit a flat wall, um, they would just stay straight lines. But because they curve, it's the curvature of those lines that the computer uses to calculate the shape. Okay, it's the difference between a straight line and a curved line. Okay, and then it, it, it takes a, like an image, if you like, from each of those 12 positions that the sensor units are in. Unlike the 1950s survey, which recorded a few different measurements for each person, the scanner produces a three-dimensional map of the body. And by scanning thousands of men and women from different age groups and ethnic backgrounds, the team have been able to build up a much more detailed picture not just of the changing size of the population, but of its shape as well.